Alrighty, welcome back to Helldivers 2. It's been a few weeks since I last recorded the game. Uh, and we've seen quite a few changes. Since then, we've had no more balance patches. There are new weapons, like the Quasar Cannon, the Heavy Machine Gun. Um, they just added extra ship module upgrades. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, here's a we're on level seven difficulty here, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure to uh, keep my shield here. For a little bit, I was using the auto cannon, which takes up a backpack slot for the ammo. Uh, but then they released this Quasar cannon, and while it's not as good as pre-nerf railgun, it's still pretty decent at taking out big targets as long as you can land the, the hits on the head or something. Most, I've only really tried it on Automaton so far. Because <laughs> the first time I logged in in like a couple of weeks, I went against the bugs a little bit. The Automatons had been fought off the map. And then I got out of a mission and there was an emergency alert saying you that the bots the were back. Which that was kind of cool. <laughs> it was like 6.50 AM. I wasn't expecting anything drastic to happen during that time. But the war is back on. And we failed our first major order for the defense of uh, five planets, I'm pretty sure. But now we're having to defend Menkent and Lasat. Alright, where are we going here? I'm going the, I'm the wrong way. I get very turned around very easily. You know they always have like your your player color as like yellow there. Thank you. Damn. A good shot. All right. They did also release a new war bond. I don't remember. I don't. There had been a war bond released as well uh, between the last time I recorded content. So there's been two war bonds released. Uh, one with like a big focus on like techie art electricity stuff. And then another one, the one that got released yesterday being focused around like explosive things. And we'll see if I get that one. There's like one weapon I, I've seen that looks like kind of interesting, uh, but it kind of, I feel like it, it fits the same role that this weapon does for me, this Dominator, where it's like, it's kind of like a medium penetrating uh, bolt action rifle or something. Now, this isn't bolt action. But I would like another weapon to replace this one because it's not hit scan. And I can be way more accurate than hit scan. I'm going to throw that one up. Oh, you miss. I won't miss my shot. Alright. Yeah, that's pretty fucking nice. Being able to blow up a... A cannon in two shots from long distance? Hell yeah. I haven't seen how effective this is against, like... The tanks and stuff. Just yet. But yeah, with the addition of level 4... Uh, upgrades on your ship parts, now they like cost for acquisition slips and like way more samples, which is going to be rough. I don't know if I'll ever be able to get those in a reasonable amount of time. Because I usually hop on, I play like, get like my dailies done, maybe help with the major order a little bit, and then that's kind of really it. Well, we got a Hulk. Parking there. location, cancel that. Heavy. North, 50 meters. What the fuck? Just shoot it. In the head. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I think I got it. Fuck yeah. Look at that. Lovely. What even is this? Oh, there's a uh, fabricator right there. I might be able to make it. Oh, wait. 
Okay, no, I have my shield back. Coming, Patrick Kinger. North. Okay, that's 16 meters. I got it. Ooh. Ooh, princess is stuck under the vehicle. Oh shit, we got another hole. Oh, it's dead. Hell yeah, nice. And another one. Oh my god. Say hello to democracy. Over the last couple of days, I've been playing a level five difficulty. So, going up to level 70 is a little bit of a jump. There are way more hulks, holy shit. Which is funny because, like, there had been a lot of hulks on level 5 as well. Because essential personnel saving is ridiculous! Yeah, I've been liking this Dominator. Uh, it was just kind of okay a little bit ago. But they actually buffed it up to a ridiculous degree. It went from 200 damage a shot to 300 damage a shot, I think. Or it went from 300 to 400. I think it was 200 to 300. And then it also has, like, more staggers, so I don't know. <laughs> right, like, the... Half of the automaton, like, smaller forces die in, like, a single shot. A lot of the medium forces can be killed in a single headshot. And then if a Hulk ever fucking turns its back to me, which sometimes just doesn't happen, uh, it can kill them in like two or three shots to their back as well. So it's, it's, it's pretty damn effective, even though I have to like deal with a little bit of projectile travel time, which isn't ideal. The only other thing I don't like about it as well is its accuracy sucks. Like, a lot of other weapons I can use in third person pretty reliably, but this one I feel like I could only really use in first person. 80% of the time to get things to actually like hit where I want them to. Enemy elite. Northeast, 50 meters. There have also been like a bunch of new enemy types that have been added to the game since the last time I played. Uh, or not last time, but since the last time I recorded. I've only seen one of them. Uh, and that is they now have like gunships that show up and will shoot you from the sky. There is also something called the Factory Strider, which is like this super massive, super giant killer automaton thing, but I haven't seen that yet, so I've lucked out on that one. But, you know, that might change. Now that I'm on level 7 difficulty, again, I had to be playing on level 5, so that does make a bit of a difference. And the enemy types that can show up. And then for the, uh, the Terminids, they got flying enemies. I don't know if they got anything else. I think it was just the flying. <laughs> flying little bugs. I need supplies! Calling down supplies! Okay, one shot, it's dead, lovely. I'm not dead. <laughs> My teammates will be the ones that are dead. There we go. I actually don't know if other guns are like hit scan or if they just have very fast projectile times. It felt like a lot of the other guns are hit scan. Oh, 
marking location. Eat. That's okay, I can do this. Yeah! Is that this location cleared out? Okay. It was a little weird, because I don't know the my teammates were holding back so hardcore. All the rockets flying in. Yes! Oh god. And those would be the gunship fabricators right there. Unfortunately for us, we can't long range destroy those. We're gonna have to actually drop a hell bomb next to them. Oh, nice ammo. God, I wish dropships blowing up actually did something like explosive to the enemies. It like blocks their path, which is okay, but I'd rather them just be dead. I kind of wish we get like a, a better first person mode in the future. For good. For when I'm using guns like this. Because that'd totally be fun, like, running around in first person all the time. The world would be five times scary. Because sometimes you'll have it glitch out. Oh my god, that's so many fucking good shit. Alright, I gotta do my part. I'm shooting that one. Ugh. Is that work? Strategy available. Okay, we should take out the gunship factory before we do anything with this SSD uplink thing. Because they're just gonna fuck us up. Oh god, fire tornadoes. Oh god. That's called democracy! Objective critical stratagem available. Objective critical stratagem no longer available. teammates doing? Look, shoot down the gunships. Oh fuck, there's a goddamn fire tornado here. Okay, let's try this. Again. Reinforcements have been launched. Hellbomb, request approved. 
I think I think we're good on the the gunship front. I think a new batch is coming up. Fuck it. All right. Gotta go. Please, are get it back. All right. I didn't get it back, but you know, priorities. Did it not blow up the second fucking building? You gotta be kidding me. Calling in a hell bomb. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how that dude blew up the building, but we're going for it again. Engaging terminal. I know how. It's a line of sight thing. There are a lot of dumb shit like that in the game. I'm dead. Oh my god, I'm not dead. But I could be. There's some oh shit. Calling in and there's a fire tornado behind me. Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. I think I dropped him into a fire tornado. Uh, north. Requesting air support. What is going on? Why am I the only one fucking shooting these gunships down? Everybody else has quasar cannons, except for the arc cannon dude. Yeah, it's three. <laughs> it's three people who should be able to blast those fuckers. Just saying. Ooh, I missed. That was rough. Yeah, hitting precision shots with this is a little bit of a pain in the ass. You know. Sometimes you just gotta go for, like, the general big hits. Cool. Heavy. North. Close. Alright, it's fucking good. It's really funny to me that they nerfed the railgun. I feel like a pretty significant degree. And then they released this fucking thing. And I, don't, I really don't know what they're going to end up doing in that regard. Like, is this going to, uh... Tagging map. North is west, the Quasar going to get meters. nerfed? Or will they buff up the road? I, I, I really... Uh, it, it, it's such a weird place in terms of, like, balancing things. Because I understand trying to, like, keep a game, like, hard to a certain degree, but it's just... What the fuck is this thing? This isn't my Dominator. <laughs> what the fuck? I picked up. That's what happened before. I tried to pick up my quasar cannon and it didn't get picked up. I just assumed I missed it. No, I picked up somebody else's electric gun. I mean, I guess I'll give this a shot. It's not the Dominator, but that's fine. Oh, there's a cannon. It's gonna fucking destroy me. Nice, okay, all right, all right. Oh, it's not fine. Now we're good. Actually, Allied destroyer leaving squadron. actually, I'm not sure. I think it's dead. Oh shit, I lost everybody. Out body. Oh fuck. Oh no. <laughs> Current network connection. Okay, well, everybody got DC'd. Well, damn. Is that me? Is my internet out? That fucking sucks. Shit. All right. I'm gonna try a couple of things here. Cause I did, uh, I did look into a little bit of like, not really the meta of the game. Uh, I need to change my actual But just in terms of like what people are regarding as like some of the better weapons. Uh, 
Um, a good number of the things that I regard as some of the better weapons I don't have. Like, there's the Scorcher, apparently that's pretty good. Uh, as well as the, the sniper, or not the bolt action rifle, whatever the hell I was looking at in the explosive thing, some people are regarding as pretty solid as well. Uh, let's get out of this. Okay. I'm gonna go for. I'm just gonna keep Quasar Cannon and Shield Generator. Uh, now that we have an extra stratagem slot, I'll do this. Alright. I thought those people were already in mission. <laughs> so I was taking my due time. I'm like, yeah, I will come in and support. We'll try this out. So the sickle is like an, an automatic fire weapon, automatic firing rate weapon. And I do like automatic weapons a good bit. So we're going to see how much I can get done with this. And then I'm going to use the anti-material rifle to make up for the times where I can. I, I won't be able to take out things like gunships or hulks. Uh, actually, the anti-material rifle supposedly can take out the Hulk from the front with shots to the face, so we'll see about that. But I also read that apparently sniper scopes are misaligned, so I don't know what the fuck to do about that. that, that Today the light kind of, of cut on that part. Grace the skies of this world <laughs> well, actually, I've got the Quasar Cannon. What the fuck am I talking about? Never mind. <laughs> I don't gotta worry about it. Now, we're gonna try out the, uh, the revolver and the sickle. should give me, you know, like, a good bit of, like, automatic firing range, and then when you have, like, troubles like this, or we've got a medium target with, like, a shield or some shit, I pull out the revolver. Reloading! Where are we? Oh, we're just right on top of the objective. Okay. What are the options? Huh. Get some! Get some! Throwing grenade! Ow! Ooh, 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 ooh. I agree with this! As long as the Hulk is down there. So we have scopes? I guess for this? Wow. <laughs> it's hard, a little hard to tell the difference. Since you have to like zoom out first. But I do see it. One nice thing about this sickle is that because it's one of the energy weapons, if I'm not firing, like I technically, you know, it cools down, and I don't technically have to reload nearly as as much as I would with like other weapons. I should I should be hitting the other one over right there. Yeah. They are fucking lasering me through the, the smoke. Tagging map. West. Far. Dropping package. Alright, I need to go help. <laughs> I need to go help Pink. The dog. They're running with the package all on their lonesome. Uh -oh. 
was stuck in the branch. Marking location. Northeast. Yeah. Our fabricator. Northwest. 50 meters. Fox. Northeast. Package acquired. You know, I'm surprised they don't have a loadout menu. Because I think now that the game's getting so many more, like, variety of weapons uh, to use, it'd be really handy. And it's like, oh, we've got a, Requesting sentry. a mission where we're just fighting automatons around one point. All right, I'm bringing out this loadout. Because right now, like, the other problem is the fact that, like, it's kind of awkward to swap between, like, the different weapons in between missions. Quality of life-wise, I feel like it should be something that's, like, all on one screen. Being able to swap your, your weapons and your other gear on the same screen is, like, the stratagems. Because a lot of times, I... Whoa! <laughs> a lot of times... Fabricator. Northwest. I forget about it. Wow, we are right. Requesting air support. I fucking missed. Ooh, shoopy. Yep. All right. my own satisfaction. Okay. I knew he was dead already. I don't know where the artillery is going to come Warning, from. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. But we'll find out, right? Dropping a pin, northwest, 100 meters. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Damn. I like went motion blind there for a second, just completely fucking missed that shot. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Oh shit, this fire tornado. I know I'm in range of, of enemy artillery. I don't see where the We're not currently getting fired upon at the moment, so I, I don't know. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. That's unlucky. Calling in reinforcements. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Calling down a sentry. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Prove it. <laughs> Where are they? I'll blow them up. Going down a support weapon. Nice empty. Oh, wrong gun. All right. Skimming. Take these grenades. Take this ammo for my revolver. Oh, 
there's a fucking tank! Oh shit, dicks! Ooh, this is not a good position for this. All right. Yeah, no, that thing's dead. I'm gonna overkill it. It's gonna be dead already. Yeah. And big boom too. Woo! Hot fabricator. North. 100 meters. Requesting advanced weaponry. We got his skis. No, but I'm trying not to. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. Calling in reinforcements. He got fucking demolished. Tagging map. Tagging west. location. Far. Southwest. Oh, the fucking thing. Yeah, okay. We gotta take that. A hundred meters. Getting chased by those gunships would really suck. Calling in orbital strike. Requesting air support. Get this out. Calling in a hellbot. Thankfully, there's only one gunship fabricator right here, so you know I can just kind of don't have to worry about decent placements. Calling in reinforcements. Now mine. All right. Reinforcements have been launched. I got the terminal. Help Omar. Clear the area. Oh god, I'm gonna get blown up by the gunship! Oh my god! Tagging location. Mission progress logged. Oh god, I keep sneezing. I'm cutting it out for y'all, but god damn it. Uh, I need to get the fuck off this planet. I tried to like predict where it was gonna like block and I missed it by like a pixel basically. Alright, I'm just gonna move back. Dropship! Alright. Alright, I'm back in. What is up with what is this? Affirmative! What is that? I just never there's there's like three of them on the map. I mean it's just like a particularly very yellow area. I should have done this a long time ago. I thought about it before, but we were just... I was keeping it just in case we ran into, like, a fabricator thing. And we did! Or not, like, you know, not the gunship fabricator, but the medium bomb production facility. But I was blowing my nose at the time, so I never actually got to put my thing out before my team. I'm glad I don't have, like, allergies. <laughs> like, like, being allergic to pollen or something. Life would be pretty horrid. Precision. Requesting 
at this. This terminal active. This Engaging terminal! I'm I'm really amused that we have just been like splitting the party for so long. Fabricator, engage to 100 meters. Oh, the samples. I got the checking location north. The super sample. Package acquired. Can I reload with one hand? Tagging map west, 200 meters. <laughs> Dropping a pin north, 200 meters. Affirmative. Oh, glorious super sample rock. Why have you forsaken us today? Marking location, north. Spots, northwest. Okay, just me and B3 doing the objectives all on our lonesome. I'm sure the other two can do this. I, I do approve of splitting the party up. See something at some point. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm not going to be the one that does it this time. But when you have to align the satellite dish, I think there actually is another visual indicator. Oh, I got the terminal. Standing in an eagle. Engaging terminal. Engaging terminal. They were still spinning the damn tower. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that there are lights on the tower itself, and I think the lights line up with where it should be pointing. But I haven't had a chance to like actually see if that is a hundred percent the case every single time, if it was just the one time I was noticing the light and it just happened to be, like it was exact, as soon as the, the satellite dish was pointing the direction of the, the, the blinking light, it was the correct way. Requesting 
orbital. Oh shit, the laser blows up the buildings too? I didn't know that. Tagging location. North. I don't think it targets buildings though. Oh wow. What the fuck? Just happened. This gives me a chance. I, I don't remember what the, the push to talk button is. Mouse and keyboard. Change binding. Communication. Oh my god, I'm just trying to look at my communication. Join the fray. Mission at 20 minutes remaining. You may I don't want to be here. Why'd you summon me? Why a I'm actually really annoyed about that. I've been fucking working with B3 this whole time and B3 doesn't fucking summon me back? Ooh, that irritates me. At least we weren't that far away, but what the fuck? I thought we were a team, man. He fucking just let me stay dead. Fuck him. Too far. Oh shit, it actually didn't. Uh, Look at all those bots living like 10 feet away from that explosion. Fucking uh, crazy. Uh, Yeah, I don't know what the fuck was going on in that, that key binding menu. Oh my god! Turn off the flashlight on this thing. I don't know why I'm over here. Ah, fuck this tank. Oh, there's two tanks. Both tanks got killed. I think we actually are good. Wrong, wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Standing in an eagle. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Heavy, uh, close. Oh shit, there's a cruiser on us. the goddamn hitbox on this body. Dude, I don't know. This scope sucks so much with this revolver. I think what I might be better off with on a build like this is maybe that grenade pistol. I think that would do the job of what I'm trying to do with this a little bit more effectively, just because this fucking thing, this revolver. Yeah, 
It like goes in the opposite direction of some of the other weapons. I feel like I gotta be in third person to be accurate with it. Because the fucking scope is like, what is this? Like, where does this even shoot through? Like, I can't even see where my bullet is. In terms of like dealing with heavy targets, the grenade pistol might be the better call. Just be like one shot, one kill. Yeah, you didn't even need to do that. Requesting air support. Don't you fucking do it! Don't you fucking do it! Son of a bitch! Extraction is available. Uh, I don't want to be fucking spawned a mile away from my body! I'm being hyperbolic, but I don't want to be spawned fucking a significant distance away from my body. I'd rather drop right back in the action. I don't care if there's a nuke on my body. Give me my shit back. Again. I think I'm coming in with this patch. Ah! See, here's the problem. Is now I'm a mile away from my shit. And that shit is the stuff that helps me stay alive. So now I'll just fucking die again. Because again, I'm being fucking thrown a mile away from the shit that keeps me alive! I fucking, I'm so, I'm Don't so fucking afraid. annoyed. Son of a bitch, dude. Like, <laughs> I just want my stuff. I just want my stuff. My things. My samples. My shield. My quasar cannon. All of that. Fucking hell, man. I'm probably not gonna make. I, I'm, I'm not fucking up with them. So I'm, I'm gonna be. I want my shit back. Had I just been thrown in the general vicinity, you know, within 20, 30 meters of my stuff, I could have had it. I could have ran. Because then I could have had my shield generator. That could have blocked a couple of shots. I could have had my samples. No, oh, I'm fucked. Ooh, I was gonna do it. Just bring this fucker back out here.
I really wish I had the... I, I hate that it's been teased for so long. Wow. I won't tell them this time. They... C2. I'm getting my shit back. <laughs> Fucking coward. Alright. Now, that I have my stuff, we can leave. That's not where I'm like that to be, but sure. Thing they uh one of the things that they they addressed in one of the or the latest patch was uh, apparently there was a bug that was multiplying explosive damage multiple times on you and I've noticed that like yeah after that patch I can get hit with a rocket sometimes and like fly one of these fucking rocket automatons and live or like Sometimes I've been hit with a, a cannon shot. Same thing. Live. It's crazy how much that bug must have been fucking us up. The combat effective one. All right. I'm going to grab these sand. It's probably like one thing, but we're here, right? Hey, force comet samples? That's solid. That's nice. I'm poor. I'm broke. I need to be desperate. They weren't paying attention to us until the fucking airstrike caught their attention. Sending in an eagle. I wonder if enemies despawn or if they just walk away. Sometimes, you know, it feels like I come back to the location that we hadn't cleared. There, there's nothing there. It's empty. You know, like I ran back to our bodies that was swarming with things we never killed because they all ran away. And it was so calm. I assumed things were really rough over here because all three of them died. And it's just peaceful. Extraction is available. You know, besides what we saw around the corner over there. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, I got what I wanted. So, you know, I'm with the team now. <laughs> got my samples. 
I got my my quasar cannon and my my shield and specifically the ones that I lost. Sort of. There's you know a lot of <laughs> a lot of overlapping bodies in the air. So it might have been somebody else's stuff, but. I'm wondering what orange is up to. Got a sample! I'm down to look around a little bit. There's this whole under part of the map that we haven't really looked at. I say as long as we start the extraction by like four minutes, Five minutes three left. minutes, we can't stay this low much longer, right? Tagging Like this kind of works out. This is this this feels more like a calling in reinforcements. Two or three times scope. Chain scopes on that too. That'd be sweet. It just I just wish it was a bigger scope. I think that would alleviate my problems. ETA T minus one minute thirty seconds. It's just so weird going from like a scope like this. <laughs> Covers a pretty significant portion of the screen and then like this. What up? Whee! <laughs> it's like five pixels tall! <laughs> Reinforcing! Yeah, that did. That was garbage! It almost feels like we don't have anybody with heavy weapons. Oh, 
getting out of here. Oh, shit, dicks. No! Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. My samples! Another victory for the right side of history. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, that's a bug I think they need to address. I hit V, the stim sound goes off, and then I don't get healed. Like, I literally lived that if the stim actually went off. Or if I didn't have the sound convince me for, like, the briefest of seconds that, like, it went off. Fuck, though, that sucks. That was so many samples. I feel like if they're gonna... Now that we have resources that, uh... Now that we actually have something to spend requisition slips on that are like a pretty significant cost, 20,000 per upgrade, I feel like 50,000 cap is a little low. Another victory for democracy. <sighs> Sadness. Oh yeah, my personal order. Forgot about that. Helldiver, glad to have you. On. <laughs> that was the whole reason I hopped on. <laughs> it was to do my daily. Mine was 400 automaton kills, which obviously we accumulated. So I think uh, I want to try and get to. I think the scorcher is the weapon that we were we had uh, picked up before my my internet connection had like screwed me over. God, I wish I didn't have to spend medals on, like, worthless shit, though. No! I'm pretty sure I got game. <laughs> That's fair enough. I caused some shenanigans and then lost the samples anyway. Oh, no. Host just left game. That's also fair. People have corrected me a good number of times on the uh, the front Greetings, of... Helldiver. I Hello, thought so I had read a thing voice. saying that like if you left during a campaign uh, set of operations that like it would negatively affect the campaign overall for everybody else or well in terms of like the the liberation of a planet that it would go down uh, but I guess it doesn't so you are free to just fucking leave in the middle of a campaign though I am sad that like a host leaving screws everybody else over. Like, there should just be a thing where the host gets transferred. Because getting through a bunch of operations is obviously, you know, it's a time investment. The enemy has launched a surprise attack on one of our planets. It needs our aid. All right. I'm gonna go to Lasath because I've spent so much damn time on, on Menket, and I'm tired of like fire tornadoes and all kind of. I will, <laughs> let's get some ice going. Initiating FTL jump to the Lasoth system. <laughs> 